Hello, beta testers. In response to a technical support request from one of the many users experiencing difficulties attempting to play the buggy and unfinished first-party Xbox exclusive Redfall, developer Bethesda responds. Allow me to read. Developer response. Hello. We are sorry to hear that you experience technical issues with Redfall. We can understand your frustration since the game is constantly crashing. We are happy to help assist and get the game to work. First, please make sure that your PC meets the system requirements. If your PC meets the system requirements, you can move on to the crash troubleshooting in our help article here. If this does not resolve your issue with Fallout 76, please submit a support ticket and an agent will be happy to help. Thank you for your review and we hope to have you back we hope to have back in Redfall soon. What the fuck? <laughs> regards Bethesda customer support. I promise you, I wanted to leave this alone. But the irony of the hope being placed in Bug Thesda and their upcoming abortion still utilizing the creation engine, you guys are gonna learn firsthand the kind of shyster Todd Howard is. But if the Xbox players are dumb enough to believe this nonsense, they deserve what's coming. What's the quote? You know, about not knowing history and being doomed to repeat it. Fallout 76 was a disaster. And worse, Bethesda showed that they were more willing to appeal to creators and influencers than they were to appeal to the fans of their most expensive collections. And when those fans had something to say about it, Bethesda made sure to dox them and leak their personal information. It's one thing when you're dealing with people that are just trying to make a dime off of you. It's another when you're dealing with people trying to make a dollar, but when they actively hate you and you're bending over for them, whatever aids you want to receive, that's on you, motherfucker. One of the biggest reasons it's so hilarious, though, is because we know that they know that it's broken. We know that they knew that it was broken, and Phil Spencer knew, too. Well, he's trying to convince people, oh, my God, how could this about? But I didn't know. Make sure that they can't review the game and make sure they were striking. They were striking people that were talking about Redfall so hard that they also got their own banner on their own Twitter. That's how don't tell anybody we need to make as much money as we can off of this game and now just in case you thought you were reading your actual little oh i have technical difficulties please please help me to copy and paste a response from a game that came out years ago baby starfield is going to save xbox right listen xbox people are only game pass subscribers that happen to have bought an xbox baby and they only care about you because of it. I hope your game pass keep you warm at night. <laughs> Nothing that's more difficult for me than disappointing the Xbox community. I can sit here and wallow in, in, in my own frustration and I'm not pointing at anybody but myself. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm upset with myself. There's a lot of Twitter firing of Phil right now, which is fine. I'm, I'm way overpaid for the role I have anyway. I'm kind of at a low point right now in terms of my delivery on that commitment to the community. You can try to take me to positive space. I'm just not in that headspace right now. Xbox cucks drop to their knees seeing this silly flim flam of a CEO saying whatever he hopes will solidify the, the sorry sad sack pitiful public position where you should just let us have it CMA can't you see we're in last place and all of our games suck 
but it's crazy how different the story is when you're on news networks like CNBC as you've been even prior to the release of the Xbox Series X boasting about your numbers. Game Pass, which is the largest game content subscription out there, 15 million subscribers and growing. He's making the same speech. I'm sorry. I'm learning. I'm going to do better. We certainly could have did some things differently. And if you just hold on, you've been saying this for 10 years. That doesn't feel like a, hey, just delay it. That feels like the game had a goal to do one thing, and when players are actually playing, they're not feeling that thing. They're not feeling the, the creative execution of the team. This is Phil Spencer saying a delay would not have saved this $70, always online, no cutscenes, but you can look at pictures, $2 AI, AI could have made better AI, video game. He then goes on to make it clear he doesn't regard it as worth $70. If these games are $70 and I'm not gonna, like, I I'm, I'm gonna take full responsibility for launching a game that needs to be great. What is taking full responsibility for launching a game that needs to be great when it is still available for purchase at a $70 price point that you objectively recognize it is not worth. This game is being shamed by 20 year old software and the theatrical recognition on this extremely scripted show of how Xbox is in third place and you guys can't out console the competition, it may trick the morons that you have whipped into brand loyalty that play exclusively car and sports games. But you must taste the general sentiment surrounding the dumpster fire that is Redfall's release and understand that the damage that it's done to the expectation of things going forward for your brand is incredible, Phil Spencer. What you say and do does nothing to change this fact. This Redfall $70 always online vampire looter shooter capped at 30 FPS truly demonstrates how little of a handle you have on your studios. You couldn't even get the box to reflect what you had to put some stickers on there to, to, to update people. Hey, this isn't going to be what it's going to be at launch. And on all you talk about is grounded and Sea of Thieves. We'll fix it eventually. Money now. Functioning product later. <laughs> it plays like it's unfinished. It reviews like it's unfinished because it is unfinished and it is early access. But you're selling it at full price and not indicating to people that that's not what you're going to get. So... If you take full responsibility, Phil Spencer, what are you going to do? I find it adorable that you're trying to get away with implying this game just reviews poorly. Because if you can get over the bump of launch, then you can slowly patch it and hope that nobody noticed how bad it was at launch. It's erasing people's game saves. They're losing progress. It's crashing frequently. And developer Bethesda is sending a copy and pasted message from Fallout 76 to consumers. But Starfield is what's going to really turn the ship around, right? If I had to pick one reason that Phil Spencer should be fired, it's because he's a liar, which is typically incredible for business. But Phil Spencer is a bad liar. If people want to call me a Sony pony, do whatever the hell makes you feel good. But for the record, I'm on the side of the games. And as far as I'm concerned, all the studios are infiltrated by the same woke types that want to boycott Hogwarts Legacy, same people scared of boobs and games because, oh, they're insecure, you know what I mean? They want to preach diversity and inclusivity, but they're hypocritically excluding. Even those degenerates are preferable to the types of greedy ignorant psychopaths at xbox you're rich enough to hire consultants but you don't because it doesn't matter you don't test because it doesn't matter you don't care because it doesn't matter these xbox boys will lie to themselves halo wasn't enough to take to the grave either what else is xbox gonna latch on to love you thanks for listening Whew.